Hello everyone, welcome to Product Impressions. My name is Ryan and today, in this little box, we have the Aura 2nd Generation Ring. I ordered this back in March and it finally arrived in November, so we are going to take a look at this and see what we think. We have the unopened box for the Aura Ring. I'll just pop this open. And it's a box in a box. Yeah, it's pretty nice looking, we'll set that aside. All right, so here is our brand new Aura Ring. I ordered this in a Black Heritage model, so pop this open. There is the ring right there. All right, that looks pretty nice. Uh, first impressions, I would say this is definitely lighter than I thought it would be. Uh, I guess maybe that's just because most jewelry you would think is solid, whereas this is actually hollow to house all of the components. You can see all the little sensors inside. Let me try and bring that closer. Yep, there we go. So you can see the sensors that will actually pick up all of the readings while you are wearing this. I got the Black Heritage design, which means that there are actually a couple little ridges on here, more of just an aesthetic thing, but I thought it looked nice. Uh, so let's try this on. Uh, this is a size 11, as is the ring that I usually wear here. So if we put that on, I would say that it feels a little bit looser than I thought that it would. So it does seem like it's a little bit larger. I'm guessing it's an 11 from the inside of the, uh, you know, the inside edge of those sensors. But all in all, it feels pretty comfortable. So I'm gonna look forward to wearing this and seeing how it works. What else do we have in the box here? It was sitting on this little stand. We'll pull this up. It looks like that is actually the charger for it. Let's pop this open. It is pretty stubborn. Is there some other way I'm supposed to open this? Oh, well, we'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, we also do have a pretty standard looking, but or a branded uh, USB type C cable for charging the ring. Uh, your pretty standard paperwork here. Or a ring, or a ring. Yes. Usual stuff that comes with any piece of electronics. Uh, some instructions on how to charge it. So, yeah. Plug it in, set on the ring, it charges. And on the other side of this is instructions for just telling you to get the Aura Ring app. All right, we are gonna try this out for a week or so and see how it works. Wearing the Aura Ring for a few weeks now, and so I just wanted to give you a little uh, demonstration of what kind of information you have based on wearing this ring. So every night when you sync the ring with the app, you will get a general sleep score uh, on this example, so looking at November 30th, I got a score of 83, uh, not great, but okay. I slept for seven hours and one minute, and apparently had a lowest resting heart rate while sleeping of 56 beats per minute. You can look further into this by seeing how you progress through different sleep stages during the night, and how your resting heart rate changed over the course of this evening as well. I'm not sure why you get these little gaps in here. Uh, I'm not wearing the ring loose on a finger, so it is slightly confusing to me, but there are periodic little gaps in the readings. Uh, corresponding with the resting heart rate, uh, another measure of great interest for people more recently has been the heart rate variability. Apparently the higher score that you have on heart rate variability, the better your physical condition generally should be for that day as far as exercise and training, things of that nature. We can see here that my highest rating, I believe, was looks like 86. So at uh, 86 millisecond difference in my heart rate based on breathing over the night. Other than that, you can also see a score for your activities. You get ratings on how much time you are inactive every day, whether or not you move every hour, meeting daily targets that they give to you. As you can see here, my daily target for the day was 500 calories and I burn about 624 based on my activity level. So even though it would have been better to be active more frequently throughout the day, as you can see from the inactive time, 
I did a good job of moving every hour and generally with meeting my daily targets. It's been about 95% of the time. You also can see uh, about how much time you've spent in recovery. Uh, apparently I can do a little bit more. I'm at 89% and same with activity score. Is that also at 89%? You can see this activity map throughout the day. So if you uh, are more active at different times, you can see the uh, level of activity gets higher. And otherwise, when you are inactive, such as more on the right-hand side where I was generally asleep, there is no activity there. Uh, you see a general levity, levels of activity durations, how much time you spent in low activity, medium activity, or high activity. Uh, and you can also get your standard activity measurements like how many steps per day, what is the walking equivalent of what you did, uh, how, much, how many calories you burned, and total burnt for the day. Of particular interest to me is the readiness score. This shows you about how, uh, how ready you are to take on physical activities for the day, and you, you will see this number once you sync with the app on waking. Uh, it bases off of your previous night's sleep, how much activity you've been getting, uh, your body temperature, which apparently the higher that is, the more likely it is that you are already fighting off some ma minor sickness or something to that effect. So it takes into account all of these and provides you with a score of physical readiness for the day. I've generally found that this is pretty accurate uh, based on how I am feeling on the day. Uh, it is also interesting to note that on the app you will be given some kind of indication as to whether or not you can go harder or whether or not you should take it a little bit easier, but also it seems to fluctuate the message that you're given will fluctuate based on not only how you slept, but also previous day's activities. I noticed after ramping up my activity for a few days, instead of saying that today is a day to go hard or something like that, it instead said, how are you feeling? And when I tapped on that for more information, it said that my activity level has changed over the previous few days, and so I should uh, exercise based on how I am feeling that day rather than trying to trust some app because there was a change in my general trend of behavior. Uh, speaking of trends, you can also click over here on trends and see uh, temperature deviation while you were sleeping, uh, average heart rate variability, lowest heart rate, your readiness scores, and you can see these trends for basically anything that it can measure. So all these different measures based on your sleep, same with activity, and to a lesser extent, readiness. Alright, we have a few final points to consider with this ring. First off, I did go swimming with it. It is water resistant, and I was swimming in the ocean. There didn't seem to be any ill effects from the salt water or anything like that. There's no corrosion on any of the uh, contact points, so it didn't seem to have any ill effects on the ring to swim in salt water. I did wash my hands pretty shortly after getting out of the water, uh, but still, nice to know that it is possible to do that. Uh, going along with that exercise, they do recommend that you don't wear the ring if you are doing weightlifting. Uh, I can attest by just pulling a rolling suitcase, there are a couple of little marks on the palm side of the ring, so there will be some damage, particularly if you are using heavy metal bars. So, recommend that you take it off if you are going to be doing any weightlifting. And finally, battery life. I found that I've been getting about five or six days of battery life out of the ring before it needs to be charged, and charging seems to take about an hour and a half or so. This is uh, probably not going to be an issue because if you work at a desk or anything, you can probably take it off for an hour and a half or so, and you aren't going to be missing any important readings during that time while you're working. So hopefully this information has been helpful to you, and if you uh, found this video useful, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, thank you very much, and I will see you next time.